It's the one you've all been waiting for all week. It's the Prix de la Arc de Triomphe here at Longchamp. 12 furlongs for Group 1 race for three-year-old horses. And up. We've got Funny Ben, David Hooley, Ish 2 de Vier, Leon Van Rensburg, Sabotage Ryan Tamasevi, Tides Out Ryan Tamasevi, Weapon of Yezero, David Thompson, Belladonna Joshua Sutherland, Nagales, Darren Thompson, Queen of Night, Leon Van Rensburg, looking to make it three in a row, the favourite, Barkston Daly, uh, Davy Lad, Initialize Craig Allen, Lopinot Cheetah, Davy Lad, Sea of Tranquility, Paul Rhodes, The Great Gatsby, Dan Hughes, Time to Shine, Craig Beckwith, Born Infanta, James Shea, Megan Markle, Dan Hughes, Monumental, Paul Rhodes, Out of Control, Obi Wan, Sugar in a Plum, Joshua Sutherland, and The Mandalorian, Craig Allen. Off and running here in Longchamp with the Eiffel Tower in the background, the beautiful city of Paris, and all of these horses coming out here for the richest flat race in Europe, the Prix de l'Arc de Triomphe and Sugar in a Plum and Belladonna. The two Joshua Sutherland runners hit the front early doors and Belladonna moving over with Born Infanta from that wide draw. The draw can be so important here, looking to the favourite Queen of Night currently towards the rear of the field. Two wins on the bounce after a season of placed efforts and bad luck in running. So Queen of Night looking to add the arc uh, to those recent wins funny ben is in fourth place at the moment that's had some really good form since joining the league midway through the season with three placed efforts in the top three towards the rear of the field initializes the back marker at the moment alongside time to shine the great scat the great gatsby the shock derby winner or the slight shock derby winner at a big price boxton daily race and widest of all in those Blue and purple silks for David Robertson. It's still Sugar in a Plum that has the lead. Around a length to Born Infanta. Belladonna in third. A gap of a length or so back to Sea of Tranquility. Sabotaged racing alongside Funny Ben. Those two had a good race against each other over in Germany in the uh, Baden, Price von Baden stakes last week. It's still Sugar in the Plum in the lead as they come into the final six furlongs. Born Infanta just in behind. Uh, Belladonna up on the rail. Barkston Daly on the outside. Sabotaged in between. Tides Out is now making a run and a burst through the outsider of the two Ryan Tamasebi runners and Sabotage is held back a little bit trying to save some energy for the last part of the race as they come to the four, final four and a half furlongs it's Sugar in a Plum Born in Fanda tides out Barkston Daly out wide out of controls there Funny Ben and Sabotage trying to get going but are just being forced out wide a bit by out of control Belladonna are hard at work on the rail Sea of Tranquility just looking for the favourite Queen of Night just got all the daylight but is having to race really wide so we're into the final three furlongs Sugar in a Plum Sabotage Sabotage, Born Infanta, Queen of Night really getting going down on the outside. Funny Ben starting to struggle, back in the middle of the field, tides out, now making a move as well, but we're in the final two furlongs, sugar in a plum. See if Tranquility making progress up the rail. Looking for things trying to come from the rear of the field. There's nothing at the moment. It's Sugar in a Plum. See if Tranquility and Queen of Night. Sabotage tides out just in behind these. Barkston Daly's trying to get going as well. We're deep into the final furlong. Sugar in uh, Queen of Night finally has the lead. Sugar of Tranquility tides out and Sabotage to trying to get going. But nothing's going to catch Queen of Night. Queen of Night's away and gone to the line and wins it for Leon Van Rensburg. He's won the arc. Again, I believe. I wasn't involved last season, but I believe he might have won the arc last season. Don't shoot me if I'm wrong. But Queen of Night, as soon as you had that daylight and she was near the lead, a couple of furlongs out, you could see the horse was going to uh, be very hard to pick up. She's been a star over this distance all season. I've got to be delighted with that run in second by Sabotage. Tried to follow up in the Price von Baden. I thought it was travelling really well. Held off, restrained a little bit, and then stayed on well again, but just wasn't enough. So a second place there. Uh, third funny Ben for David Hooley so that form uh, pretty strong from the German race last week tides out a fourth for my outsider of my stable and that's a bit of a surprise and Ishtu de Vier uh, in fifth place for Leon van Rensburg so a fantastic win for Queen of Night and clearly the outstanding 12 furlong filly of this starters orders season